The Feeding Our Frenzy trial continues in federal court, and today the prosecution's star witness took the stand. This is a person with intimate knowledge of what is the largest alleged pandemic era scheme in the country. Uh, Rob Olson was in the courtroom for all of this today, and so Rob, what did the jury hear? Well, they heard a man say that he uh, engaged in this alleged fraud by operating a fraudulent meal site and earned over a million dollars that way. But he said he was also at the center of it, working at Feeding Our Future, one of the two nonprofits uh, that are part of this entire alleged scheme here, saying that he worked with uh, others to help try to get their invoices submitted and approved and submitting names full of uh, fake names or rosters full of fake names of kids that were never served meals and he said he took in a lot of money that way too offering his testimony now to try to get a softer deal from the government are you able to say anything at all today? This is Hadith Ahmed in October of 2022, just after he pled guilty to wire fraud in federal court. That plea deal then in exchange for this testimony now in the trial of the first seven defendants in an alleged multi-million dollar pandemic meal fraud. Everybody was opening a site, he testified. Everybody was claiming a high number of meal counts. There was money flowing around everywhere. He said he joined the alleged scheme shortly after joining Feeding Our Future, which was was based in the St. Anthony office building, that he started his own meal site in Eden Prairie and claimed to feed 2,000 children a day, taking in over a million dollars in federal funds, but never served a meal. He also registered a consulting company purely to take kickbacks from other meal sites. The prosecution showing checks that ranged from $12,000 to $127,000 written to his company, also totaling more than a million dollars in fraud. He testified he was the right-hand man of Feeding Our Future. The kickbacks from the fake meal sites ensured those site claims were processed and paid out quickly. Did others at Feeding Our Future take kickbacks? All of us were. Jurors were also shown fake invoices that Ahmed said he created after the FBI began investigating to make the kickbacks look legit. Showed them bank records showing he purchased land in Kenya, took expensive vacations, using money he admitted he stole from the government. Chaos, he called feeding our future. People were submitting a lot of high numbers that they never served. Crazy. It was crazy. No, again, he spent all day on the stand today, most of that under direct uh, questioning from the prosecution here, the U.S. Attorney's Office, just a little bit from one of the seven uh, defense counsels here. Uh, that just began today. That will resume tomorrow, so he'll be back on the stand again, getting, getting grilled, essentially, here by defense attorneys as they try to pick apart his testimony. Live in Minneapolis, Robles, Fox 9.